Hey jazz fanatics, in this episode I'm choosing to share my derangement of Duke Ellington Solitude. And it is a little deranged, just like my shirt, and I guarantee you that there's going to be some people where this is going to fall out of their taste range. But as the music is playing, I challenge you to ask yourself, what is the difference between an arrangement and an orchestration? And as always, if you're a New York area adult jazz student and you're looking to improve your playing and your writing and actually have a real band that can perform these compositions and arrangements, then I, I highly encourage you to visit jazzlabny.com to see how you can become involved. The difference between an arrangement and an orchestration is this. Many times with orchestrations, there's no personal stamp on the tune. They simply flesh it out for a larger ensemble, but do not do anything with the harmony, nor the melody, nor the time signature, or the feel whatsoever. With an arrangement, that's the arranger's opportunity to put their personal stamp on it using the methods I just described. If I had to pick something that inspired me to write in this style, it was Chris Potter's underground arrangement of Billy Strayhorn's Lotus Blossom. I used the same ethereal kind of space age treatment for the intro and once again, as my style is, to use the melody as extension notes for the harmony below. So if you look, the D is actually the sharp five of the F sharp augmented seven sharp nine chord. And then the E flat is the seventh of F augmented seven sharp nine chord. And then we have 
the E flat, which is the tritone of the A major 13, sharp 11, and so on. So I continue this idea throughout the tune, and I just use the ostinato piano line as a background for effect. At the bridge, as a point of departure, which is what bridges are, I decide to go back to an original piano trio feel so that Manuel Valera could expound on that and uh, what he played was certainly some of the highlights of the record that it's on. And then we go back to the last A where we did more of the same with uh, the melody notes serving as extensions. After that, I played a little bit of the solo section where we did a collective soloing between Manuel and I and we finished off the tune at the bridge into the same ostinato like the intro at the coda and we just vamped to fade. Again, I encourage you to just explore without worrying about what it sounds like. See how far you can take something and still retain the integrity of the melody. Until next time, this is Jazz Lab NY.